pay my bill, please? Yeah, yeah, sure. You all right? Sorry, stupid question. No, I, I should be asking you that. Oh, if there's anything that I can do. You're leaving us, are you? Uh, yeah, it's just for a few days. Uh, but listen, um, I wanted to thank you again for, for taking me in. I didn't. Uh, yeah, well, thank you. Take care. Oh, not going on any holidays, are you? Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to Ireland. On business? No. I'm going to do what you should have done. I'm going to see Vicky's ex-husband. Has it occurred to you that she might be there with him? Or that he might have... hurt her? Lots of things have occurred to me, Mr Preston. And the common factor in most of them is you. I don't think so. Robert Preston, I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not make sure when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. I keep telling you, I, I don't know anything about that. I should also point out that my client isn't the only person to drive that van. It's also a business vehicle. A witness claims to have seen a van matching the description of said business vehicle near Burbage's Woods on the night Vicky disappeared. Well, it wasn't mine. And Miss Connor told me that you returned home with muddy boots in the morning after being away for some time. Yeah, I, I told you that, I know. I, I've been out walking by the canal. But no witnesses. My take on it is that Miss Jeffries threatened to turn up at the wedding. You argued it got out of hand, there was a struggle, and in anger, you hit her with a heavy china object. No! And if that were the case, I... then you would be left wondering how to get rid of the body. No, I never, I never touched her. I swear! You have no body and only circumstantial evidence. You and I both know you don't have a case. Yes, friends, As we speak, I have officers searching that woodland. And as for evidence, the results are back from the lab, and I can confirm that the blood on the pieces of china found in Vicky's house and in the back of your van belong to Vicky Jeffries. So I ask you again, Mr Preston, how did it get there? <laughs>